All right, y'all. So, this your boy Fresh, and this is gonna be vlog number four. And hopefully, you guys enjoy that. The last video I did was part four of Amnesia, which I, I called it 4.0 because the video went on longer than that. Went on longer than 11 minutes. It was like 36 minutes altogether. So I said, you know, I'm not putting up a 36 minute upload. So I'll just label this one 4.0, and then I'll label the next one. You know what I'm saying? You know, 4.5 or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll go on to five, and then and then so on and so forth. But it's been pretty fun playing Amnesia so far, and just getting into PC gaming is pretty fun. I recommend that if you have a PC powerful enough to play PC games, obviously, then I would recommend that you do that because PC gaming is a little bit different. You know, there is a learning curve as far as the keyboard, especially if you come from console. But, you know, it, it, it it's like riding a stick car. You know what I mean? It's like driving a stick car, not riding. You know what I mean? It's like you get on top of the car and ride it. No. It's like driving a stick. You know, you have complete control over the shifting of the car. And that can relate to PC gaming where, it, it, you know... You have control over the graphical settings, how you want the game to play, if you want niggas to have shadows, you know, it, it's a whole bunch of things that go on into a PC game. And if you have a strong enough PC, I recommend trying out, you know, some games on Steam. Uh, getting a Steam account is free, and there's a whole bunch of free-to-play games on there that you can get into and have fun. There, there, you know, there's a whole bunch of shit that you can play that you can just, you know, test out. And Amnesia was... A game that I said you know what I'm gonna test that out and I'm gonna see how it goes so you know this is basically like a beta run for just playing PC games and I'm sharing this with you and I'm getting pretty close to finishing amnesia I have like all my uh, my videos for that lined up and it is something that I've wanted to do for a long time not just a horror survival game but I, I wanted to do a game that I started from beginning to end and that is something that will be complete on my channel and then I'm gonna start doing uh, playlists and you know that's just how that's gonna go you know I'm not gonna you know bust out a second channel just for let's plays and all that stuff um, everything that I do I try to keep it interesting I try to keep you guys entertained you know some things that I, I know that I can't help and you know sometimes you guys get bored with some of the things that I do but you know th that is just the learning curve that I have to go through and you know that it, it shows like you know some videos I get dislikes and, you know, I'm sorry that, you know, you guys dislike my videos. You know, however many people it may be. You know, I'm sorry that I don't entertain you. I'm sorry that I force you to come back to my videos to dislike them. And I I'm sorry that I don't really feel a certain type of way about it. You know, that you dislike my videos. And really, overall, what I'm sorry about is spreading that shit to other people's channels. Now, I've seen... You know, on a couple of my friends' channels, they have dislikes on their videos for no reason whatsoever. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, it's sad because, you know, sometimes you're guilty by association, so to speak. And at this point in what I'm doing on YouTube, like, I really don't give a shit about it. But it is kind of ironic that... You know, there are people that I've been watching them closely since I've started YouTube and I have only now seen dislikes on their videos after I started getting dislikes on my videos. And, that, and you know, that sucks because it lets me know that it's the same people that relate me to other people or relate other people to me. And, you know, it's like you're guilty by association. And that's that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to talk about. Now, in this community, I know that a lot of us do not get along because the Internet closely relates real life. You will always have people that do not like certain things that you do, but will not confront you about it or will not tell you about it to actually try to be your friend and then move on from that. Like, you know, I I've never unsubbed anybody. I've never disliked anybody. I think that's why. It's hard for me to find people's videos because I never unsub people. I never I never unsub people. Even if I don't agree with anything that they say. You know, as far as the community goes and, and a lot of people not getting along, you know, it is what it is. I always stay neutral 
when it comes to that. And, you know, like my friendships are my friendships. That, that doesn't change. You know, if you were cool with me since day one, that will never change. Even if you're cool with me, you know, two days ago, a week ago, that will that will not change. You know, that will always remain. Like, I'm cool with everybody. You know, it's like, you know, I got friends who, you know, don't agree with all of the friendships that I have. And, you know what, that's fine. But I'm not going to change up who I am for anybody. You see what I'm saying? And that is what I'm trying to convey to you guys, like, you know, if you're, if you, if you, if your, your homie got funk with somebody else that, that you're cool with, then you know what? You put it in a perspective that your homie has power to be able to say, well, you know, I can handle myself and you know what? My friend is always going to be my friend. I understand and I know and I respect that not everybody gets along with everybody, but you know, at the same time, you know, I give my niggas a chance to handle this shit on their own like men you know and i don't step in and you know nine times out of ten which happens majority of the time they handle their shit and they move on you know they say what they gotta say and then they move on and hopefully you know the people that are they're beefing with or you know people that they got problems with hopefully they you know get their point across and you know everybody gets to move on being guilty by association is one of the things that kills YouTube. It's like, it's like, think about this. You know, my boy Omen, like, when I first watched his very first video, I think he was like, um, oh shit. He had to be like 60 or 70 subs in, I, I believe. And, he was talking about a guy named Tatted White Boy. And he went the fuck in on Tatted White Boy. And it was over some other shit. But, I mean, if you look at it today, if you look at Tatted White Boy today, he's cool with everybody. Like, him and Omen are cool. Him and uh, JD from NY are cool. And that's how the whole thing fucking started. Like, like you fuck with JD, like, a whole bunch of motherfuckers is gonna hammer down on you. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how that goes. You know what I mean? But um, you know they're cool today. They were able to you know patch all that shit up and then move on. You know, and I think that should be the same thing with everybody else. I think everybody should be able to settle their differences and then you know move on. You know, like there's been a few people that have come to me privately and we've talked and we settled things and then we moved on. Like you know, and that's what I try to bring to the table. Like, you got a problem with me? Hit me up in DM, man. Like, you know, don't just sit there in the background and, 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 and you know, start, you know, conspiring about all these thoughts that you think I have. You know, just don't do that. Like, you know, come to me and, you know, let's talk about it in, in a civil manner and we can move on that. Hopefully we can be friends and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a cool dude. Like, you know, like, there are people out there that, you know, I, I support that don't even watch my videos. Don't wouldn't even waste, you know, two seconds on watching my videos because, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I don't feel a certain type of way about it. I don't give a shit if you if you don't watch my videos. Like, I'll support you regardless because that's just what the fuck I do. That's what I do. You know, I, I, I like to be a subscriber sometimes and just watch people's videos. So that's fine with me. You know, it is what it is. And... I think that everybody should be that way. But hey, I'm gonna, enough about like all the YouTube drama and all that shit. You know, that's like kind of kicking a dead horse. And just know that if you come to my channel, you know, it's all about love and equality. And, you know, there'll be some controversial shit here and there. And that's fine. Leave that to the people that come to my videos over and over again and dislike them. You know, leave that to them, motherfuckers. But uh, <clears throat> if you're newly subscribed to my channel, uh, you know, hey, thank you for stopping by. I post Call of Duty shit, I do a, currently I'm doing a Let's Play, and I would have posted more Call of Duty shit, but I'm leaving that for next year, I'm going to be on the PS4, and 
I'm going to be doing more things on the PS4, and hopefully I'll get to join the awesome crew that, you know, I was fucking with earlier tonight, Omen, uh, Tatted White Boy, and hopefully uh, Billy, you know, he'll hop on the PS4, Matt will hop on the PS4, and uh, I think my brother in LA, they'll probably get PS4 later on, man, I'm telling you, man, be your motherfuckers on Xbox, man, it's lonely at the top, especially it's lonely without me, because, you know, I bring a level of excitement to the table. You know, I talk a lot of shit, man. That, that's what I do. And I have fun playing these games, man. And, you know, I try to bring a laugh. You know, that that just that factor of just being hilarious to just gaming online. Especially in these Call of Duty uh, matches, man. I remember, yo, like the last time me, my brother, and uh, L.A. played, we were in tears. We were, The last time, we, the very, very last time we ever played. We were literally in tears, man. So hopefully, man, we can get that back. Niggas get on the PS4 because I'm not going to the Xbox, man. Like, you know, I, I, I wanted to. And honestly, I wanted to wait till this summer to get a uh, Xbox that has no connect. But, you know, I feel like, man, it, it, honestly, it, it's time to switch up, man. It's time to go a different route. You know, I, I know a lot of people like to go with what's tried and true and whatnot. But, you know, that's just not me. I, I, I like to give things a, a, a different perspective. I like to, you know, take chances on, on, other, sh on other shit that, you know, I, I was kind of steadfast in my mind. Like, yo, I'm not getting no fucking PlayStation, man. Fuck PlayStation. No, I'm going PlayStation. I'm not getting both. Yo, I'm not paying. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm going to be 100% real with you. <laughs> Yo, I'm not paying $100 a year for no fucking PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live, man. Fuck that. I'm not buying double games. And there's not going to be that many exclusives. Let's just be honest. There's not going to be that many exclusives. So at the end of the day, I'm content with my PC games. And I'll, I'll do the console thing with the PS4. So probably next week. Probably uh, next year, I'll have a PlayStation 4. And you know, that's pretty much it. But, you know, we're wrapping up this vlog, man. I've talked about a vast array of things here. And I probably went off into a couple tangents. But I thank you guys for watching. And the last thing I want to talk to you about. All right, so I went to the Red Box, right? So I got Assassin's Creed 4 just to fuck around with. You feel me? So, yo, this the second disc. This is the second disc. Right, that I that I pulled out. The first disc that I pulled out was this. All right, let me open it up for you. Let me just you know be more concise with this shit. Let me open this shit up for you. This is what I got in the fucking thing, like this, in the fucking thing, or 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 whatever. Hold on, let me like this. I got it like it was just in there like that. Like folded up. Nigga got me at the red box. He threw a dud in there. Probably I don't know. Maybe uh he stole somebody's credit card or something. I, I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't really make sense to do it. I mean, if if it's your credit card if it's your debit card or credit card or whatever you're using, it doesn't make sense. Because, I mean, I, I obviously, well, they have to catch you at some point. You know, you, you went to the fucking thing and you, you recorded, you, uh, you not recorded, but you, uh, you copied the whole fucking disc. And then, you know, that tracking number has to go toward your account and, and you ordering it. So, I mean, I, it doesn't make sense. Or maybe you ordered, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But, you know, it, it just seems stupid to me for a fucking punk-ass video game. So, luckily, they had another copy in there. So, I just went and got that. And I'm going to go on, um, I'm going to go on, uh, on the phone and, uh, talk with them for a little bit. And, you know what? They're, they're pretty honorable people. So, they'll give me, like, you know, five or six free rentals. And, you know, I'll keep it pushing. So, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I had to go get two. And uh, this is a, a Assassin's Creed uh, 4 <laughs> Black Flag. Yo, it's just crazy, man. But, um, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a happy holiday. I hope everything goes the way you want it to go. I hope all your wildest dreams come true, like Pedro. But um, this your boy Fresh. 
and I'm out. Thank you for tuning in.